Hello and welcome to Film in 5, where we review movies old and new to give you our thoughts on the films we've been watching here at More Movies. My name is David Roberts and in this episode I'm going to be talking about Vice, the 2018 biographical black comedy drama about the former US Vice President Dick Cheney. And just a warning that I will be talking about some of the plot points, so if you still haven't seen this movie, consider this a spoiler alert. The film starts in 1963 with a young Dick Cheney working as a lineman in Wyoming. In his early life, he is a drunk, a college dropout, and a waste of space. His wife Lynn is furious at the state his life is in, and threatens to leave if he doesn't clean up his act. By 1969, he has joined an intern program at the White House, working under the Nixon administration. Here, he meets Donald Rumsfeld, wonderfully portrayed by Steve Carell, who is Nixon's economic advisor, and will play a key role in Cheney's future. In his early years, Cheney is new to the political game, but quickly learns the ropes whilst on the job, becoming a savvy operator in the corridors of power. After overhearing Henry Kissinger discussing the secret bombing of Cambodia with Richard Nixon, without approval from Congress, he discovers the true power that the executive branch has in Washington. After Nixon's resignation, Cheney rises to the position of White House Chief of Staff for President Gerald Ford, whilst Rumsfeld becomes Secretary of Defence. But after Ford is voted out after only one term, Cheney is left unemployed and adrift. He then decides to run for office as a representative for Wyoming. However, there is a problem, as Cheney is a very awkward and uncharismatic man. And although he can work the movers and shakers in the halls of power, this doesn't translate when trying to impress the voters. Here, he suffers his first heart attack, hospitalising him during the campaign, but it actually turns out to be the lucky break he needs. His wife Lynn campaigns on his behalf, and is much more charismatic and relatable to the people of Wyoming, which helps him to win his seat. During the Ronald Reagan presidency, Cheney becomes a mover and shaker in the House of Representatives, and then serves under President George Bush Sr. during the First Gulf War. By this point, he has become a massive player in the Republican Party, and has developed an ambition to run for president. However, in his personal life, he and his wife are raising a family, and their daughter Mary reveals to them that she is a lesbian. To spare her from the massive media scrutiny, Cheney decides not to run for president, and steps away from office. He then becomes the CEO of the multinational corporation Halliburton, and he and his family live the rest of their lives healthy and happy. The end. That's it for this review. What did you think of Vice? Did you enjoy it as much as I did? Let us know in the comments. Of course, I joke. This review and the film does not end there. The film pulls this trick though with a false ironic epilogue before skipping back to carry on examining Cheney's rise to power as vice president under George W. Bush, his reuniting with Rumsfeld and his actions during 9-11 and the Iraq war. The film is undoubtedly ambitious and exciting, fighting between different time frames with ferocious pace and never lingering too long. The dramatisation is interspersed with montages of real life footage, reenactments and drama, with narration by Kurt, a fictitious veteran of the Afghanistan and Iraq wars, played by Jesse Plemons. It's like a History Channel documentary and is very reminiscent of Oliver Stone's JFK. The performance by Christian Bale as Dick Cheney is outstanding. The little ticks and nuances create a caricature of the man, which captures him perfectly revealing a gradual development of a malicious character that is simply chilling. He is supported fantastically by Steve Carell as Rumsfeld in another stellar performance, and Amy Adams, Sam Rockwell, Tyler Perry and Jesse Plemons are all equally compelling in their roles. Vice is unconventional and bitterly ironic, making it both hilarious and frightening. Cheney is an ambiguous character, a man we know so much and so little about as the film professes, but what we see on screen is believable, as what we know to be true is very accurately portrayed. The film was incredibly divisive on its release due to its political nature and the stance it takes, but a film like this wouldn't be any good if people didn't hate it. The storytelling is compelling and the sarcasm riveting, resulting in an enjoyable and singular political biopic. Dick Cheney will go down as one of the most divisive political figures in modern history. The Machiavellian manipulator wielded power like no other during some of the most turbulent times in American history. Some would call him a war criminal. Some would call him a corporate military gangster. Whatever you think of the man, he's a fascinating character and the perfect subject for a film like this. So, 
Now that really is it for this review. What did you think of Vice? Did you enjoy it as much as I did? Let us know in the comments down below. Till next time, take care of yourself and keep watching more movies. That's it for this video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And remember to like, share and subscribe right here on YouTube. For more film reviews and articles, join us on our website, moremovies.co.uk. Or join us on social media at More Movies For You. That's on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all across the board, you know the score. If you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us at buymeacoffee.com or join us on patreon.com. Links in the description down below. And for more film-tastic content, click one of the buttons on screen now.